So when you went through the calculation, then two of them were negative, which means you need to change direction to make the magnitude as positive. So that's just half of the solution. Then we need this equation, the second one. <coughs> we know the MA, that's just M X A times I plus M Y A times J plus M C A times K plus we need to find this moment and I said that at that point you have a choice you could use this or this so if I choose this one if I choose the second equation <coughs> then we need the vector R A C and <coughs> we know the A is zero so <coughs> AC is going to be simply 15I plus J plus 0K. I mean, you, whatever you have here, that should become vector RAC. <coughs> so this, and there will be <coughs> a determinant I, J, and K then I say I'm going to use this one here so <coughs> you have the first component which is 15 then you have second component that's 10 then you have a 0 then force is right here so that will be 360 240 and negative 720 and all of this should also add up to 0 so that's the second equation of equilibrium now we need to find the actual determinant here so <coughs> you can go let's say i and you have this times this this times zero so that's negative 7200 <coughs> then we have j and this time we need to go from here that goes to zero this times this and there is already a negative so that should all become positive, 7, 20, plus K, that's going to be 15 times 240 minus 10 times 360. So the determinant by itself will be, say, I, negative 7,200, plus J, there will be a 0, there will be a 0, and there should be 108, plus K, 0, 0, 36, minus 3600, so this all adds up to 0. Now, <coughs> we're going to put this one with this. And that gives you another three such equation. The first one is equivalent to sum of the moment about x axis to be zero, and you get m x a negative 7200, and that goes to zero. The second one will be sum of the moment about y axis to be zero. That will be this. So we have m y a plus 10, 800, that goes to 0. <coughs> then there's one more equation, and that's m c a plus 0, and that goes to 0. The last equation is sum of the moment about c axis to be 0. So from this, we get m x a as 7200 newton meter. This one is going to give you m y a as negative 10 8 0 0 newton meter and the last one here gives you m c a as 0. So again we get one more negative and I chose the direction that the 
copper component was going in the positive y. So <coughs> if this is positive, so there is no problem here because it was x axis, you will go like this. This one is 0, so it doesn't matter. This one here, if this was y axis, then your couple should switch and it should go like this. So that's m x a plus m y a. Then the actual vectors, you're looking at force A, then force A is going to be negative 360 of I, negative 240 of J, plus 720 of K, all in Newton. So that's one force in vector form and then you have the <coughs> MA and that should be basically from here is 7200 times I then you have a negative 10 800 times the J this thing in, in neutral meters yes You know how I got to this? Right. And here? Yeah. How did I get these numbers? Yeah, where, why did you take this? Um, <coughs> you see, if I go back to the very first diagram, then if I need the moment of this about this point, okay, then this point is already known. So we need the moment about this point, and that's 0, 0, 0. Okay? Then you need another point, and that point will be on the force. Yeah, I chose C because it gives me one component as zero. If you choose R A B, you will get the identical moment. Okay, any other yes? Because when we did the calculation it came out to be Yeah, but then I ch also change the direction. See, when I made this 360 positive, see, when this was positive 360, see the direction is opposite to x. Okay, any other question? Right, we're going to look at an example. <coughs> 